Okay, great. So we're going to be creating an alignment and of two files and then creating a translation memory. So first thing we'll do after opening our project up and saving it, um, is head over to Tools tab and then go to Align Files. Um, first thing we're going to do is put in our locale code, or our source and target languages. So I have English, US, and target Spanish. Next we'll browse for our um, respective files that we want to use. So for me, this will just take a second, and I went to the wrong one. Great. So I'm going to do my English as my source, and this one should be faster now that it knows where I want to go. And Spanish will be my target. I'm going to hit OK. First things first, they're going to give me an opportunity to adjust the alignment parameters. Um, for me, it's looking like everything's looking pretty good. I might need to do some manual alignment it looks like, um, but you can um, adjust your general settings um, and then hit as to do whatever you want to do with it and then hit continue and come over to step two which is making manual corrections. So um, it's looking like things are lining up pretty well, um, but I noticed right here for example I want myth number one to correspond to myth number one. So this looks like these need to be split up so they can match up with their segments. So I'm going to go ahead and split it. And you need to split it where you want to. So I'm going to split it right here between these sentences. Hit enter. And that allows me to split these up. So now they line up correctly. So myth number one coincides with myth number one. One of the most common and the most common. Great. Uh, let's see if we have any other of those. Shock pain. Okay, great. Everything else looks like it lined up well. So for there, I'm going to go ahead and hit save TMX, and that's going to allow me to save my translation memory. Um, I'm going to give it a name. So we'll say um, brief underscore TM, because I'm doing, I'm translating an article about myths regarding um, brief. So we'll save that in my TM folder that Omega has already set up for me, and then go ahead and hit save. So now that I've finished, I'm going to X out of this and get started. So um, in order to find my matches, um, I'm going to go ahead and go down to this segment because I know that this is a segment that was in my first one. So this would be a good example of a, of a very solid match. Um, and when I double click it, I can see that over here in my fuzzy match box, I am given this translation based on my translation memory. And it looks like a translation I want to use. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to put insert match or selection into translation. Um, another option you can do is actually hit replace translation by match or selection. It's actually easier because then you just go ahead and get rid of what you had in English and replace it with the, the target language. Um, and I'll go through each of my different segments doing this and accepting different matches or using them um, to replace my, my source language or to um, improve or guide me as I translate the document. Something else that I can do is head over to preferences and if I want to from the beginning um, kind of make it easier on myself to like if I get annoyed with the fact that the source text is always the first thing that pops up underneath my translation um, I can right now it's every time I click on one it's going to pop up with the source text down here but what I can do is I can say leave the segment empty instead of giving me the English. I want it to just be empty so I can just start typing instead of having to erase everything. And I can also insert the best fuzzy match automatically if I want to. I personally like to go ahead and um, bring down my minimal similarity a bit lower. Let's just go really, really low. Let's do 35%. And then um, even if it's a fuzzy match, I then as a translator can go through and decide if this is something that I want to use or if I need to edit it, etc. Um, hit OK, and then I'll just go through the rest of my document. My translation memory went ahead and saved where we saw before. But if I want to no see my translation memory, I can hit Project Files or Access Project Contents, and then go down to TMs. And that will show me where my translation memory is that I can open up for further use if I need to use it later.